This past year, federal policies derailing environmental protections have rolled out of the nation's capital. But within the city's borders, Washingtonians are developing their own creative solutions to promote sustainability. My son and I, Ari, began going to different schools and speaking about sustainability, and it was very successful. But every single time we did that, we sort of said, well, God, I wish we could do more. DC native Barton Rubenstein is a scientist turned artist who has created more than 80 nature-inspired public art projects aimed at promoting a love for the environment. Originally, my thought process about creating art was about enriching communities. And then more recently, with the, the beginning of the Mother Earth Project in 2015, I realized that I could use art to empower communities. Um, so that's a big mind shift. Barton decided to take his love for arts and sustainability to the next level and create the Mother Earth Project in 2015. The project calls for installing Barton's Mother Earth sculpture in major cities that demonstrate a commitment to the environment. Our greatest enemy is silence. Um, it's not the Republican Party or it's not a certain person. It's just, it's silence. That is our greatest enemy. We need to be talking about it. We don't need to, be, we can't be talking about it in whispers so that other people can't hear and feel. This is a, this needs to be the common conversation in the, in the elevators. The arts is an enabler. It tells a story that's very human. And originally it was just to create artwork and a way to express yourself. But now, through conversations, we realize that the end goal is to change um, and ask for better climate laws, because that's what's going to be, what's going to move the needle the fastest. Um, so we're asking people to create parachutes and then display them locally and then take them to their local governments and show their parachutes uh, and ask for better climate laws. We want the parachute to become um, and it has already become the, the global visual language uh, for expressing concern about climate change. This is what we do as a nation. We, we fight for our, our democratic values, and that's what we're in the midst of doing, and we've done it before, and we've, we've prevailed. And the Mother Earth Project continues to turn local efforts into global outcomes. It's a work of art in progress.